Welcome to Coffee with Bloggers. I'm here with Antoinette Blake, the Delaware blogger. And Lorena Wooten, blogger extraordinaire. Yes, she is. And today we're going to go over some tips and tricks on everything. On everything. Just about everything. We're going to give you all everything. So stay tuned and here we come right back. Okay, cool. I'm here today with Antoinette Blake. Hello. Delaware blogger. Everyone always asks, do you know Antoinette Blake? I'm like, yes. And you so we met that? years ago. Years ago. Years ago, even before we started, I mean, really blogging. Right? You remember how we met? Ooh, don't get me to lying. Um, when did we first meet? I'm going to tell you. Oh, no. Tell me. Okay, so I had just decided I wanted to get into blogging. Okay. I just finished social media and marketing class at University of Delaware. Okay. And I really wanted to make it into a business. Okay. And somebody said, you have got to contact Antoinette Blake. This is what she does. She's like the best at it. So I was like, really? So I looked, her up, I looked you up on social media and I inboxed you and asked you to mentor me. I remember that. Mm -hmm. I, so I remember you saying, and I was like, oh my God, somebody really wants my opinion, yes. my advice. It was so, like really cool. So you like, it, so you told me to um, email you mm -hmm. um, the five things I wanted to accomplish. Yes. Oh, I yes. Remember, I remember. I remember. I remember. Oh my God, you're so mm -hmm. good. <laughs> five things I wanted to accomplish um, and what I, what I needed your help to do. Right. And I said, I really, I know how to do social media. I want to know how to make money doing it. Right. Right. And right, he right. was like, okay. I remember that because I was actually, it was still working in Pennsylvania. Yeah. I remember I went into a conference room and, mm -hmm. and we had that call. Yep. Yes, that was, I yep. remember that. that was and, and, she, and she helped me. She yep. helped me get all the things I need. So, tip and trick. If you need something, if you're looking to do something, find someone who's already doing it. Ask questions. Get a mentor. It's important to have a mentor. You are never too big for a mentor. To no, definitely. No, I, I still ask. I still look. and Because you know what? And I always say, and I don't know how you feel, but when people say I'm a social media expert, mm -hmm. I say run. Because you can't yeah. be a social media expert. Because social media changes constantly. Every day. When you go to sleep, mm -hmm. you wake up. Especially mm -hmm. now with what's all going on with Facebook. Yes. You know, these security breaches. These changes with the algorithm. Mm -hmm. So unless you can absorb this stuff in your dreams, you'll you never can. be a social media You have media to like expert. live it, dream it, sleep it, eat it. Right. And it's like, it's almost impossible to keep up with all the sites. Like, are you on Tumblr? No, no. Yeah, like, I'm not on Tumblr. Mm -hmm. Tumblr's popping right now. That is not my site. Well, that was, I, I remember uh, hearing about Tumblr when I first started blogging as okay. that being a platform. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of the, the blogging platforms. You had, obviously, WordPress, mm -hmm. and then you had Tumblr, mm -hmm. um, Blogspot with uh, Blog Good Morning. Um, but yeah, that was, mm -hmm. you know, and then also that was the photography, right? That's yeah. That's where the pictures All the pictures. Yes, that picture. But so, that was the Instagram, the grandfather of Instagram. Before, before Instagram right. came. Right. So write down what uh, social media sites you guys use so we know exactly what you all are using. Right. Because I only use, um, I use Twitter, and I mean loosely use Twitter. I, I keep Twitter. She loves Twitter. Yeah. She does. I keep Twitter because it's so important to have Twitter if you're a professional because it's like a site, you know, people go mm -hmm. and you tweet them. Right. Um, Instagram. And you know what else I like? I like Google Plus. I know and I'm so sad it's going I'm away. Too. Is it leaving? Yes. See, I didn't They're know They're shutting that. down Google Plus. And Google Plus to me was where you would connect with your community. Mm -hmm. That's when you get that niche marketing similar to like LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. But yes, Google Plus is going away. Oh so no more hangouts. Oh. No, what? So no more hangouts? No, it's all going to go it away. It was a good way to do interviews. Like if you want to interview for a job and things like that. Really? And you want to teach a class and we want to come into that class and they go all talk and stuff. I did that. One well, of my class I did for social media marketing, we had to use Google Plus. Cool. We'll chat. Yeah, but Google Plus is going away. Bye bye Google Plus. But you yes, know what? Yes. Um, there's always a way. You know, getting that Google juice. You Google know, just gotta make sure. Make That's sure. if you guys are into Google. So let's jump right into the okay, important yes. questions. Okay. So um, blogging. So everyone says, what is a blogger? What is blogging? So tell us your definition. And I jump in mind. Okay. Well, as you know, mm -hmm. I teach blogging. So I always people say, well, what is a blog? And a blog is simply a web blog. It's just an online journal. And I always say that when I actually have my diary from 1973, I used to write every day. Like what I ate, I can be in my diary. What I ate, what, who I like, you know, what classes I had and stuff. So back then, it was literally writing. A blog now is online. Okay. So depending on your niche, your topics, it's the same thing. It's writing about your passion. And tell everyone what niche means because some people... 
Tell okay. That's right. That's right. That's my bill. Hey Bill. <laughs> so um tell us what your um what niche means. Everybody said, what does niche mean? Niche is like um you find uh, what it is that you're into. So if you're into fashion or if you're into um, relationships mm-hmm. or if you talk about religion, you know, that's your niche. You know, whatever people think of when they think of you, your niche. Right. And what I like to tell people is to narrow your niche. Mm-hmm. So for example, if your niche is or is cars, you want to narrow your niche maybe to car classic cars or okay. alleys or, or cars of the 60s okay. because what you want to do is you want to so focus in on your target market mm-hmm. audience. You know, you kind of decreasing the noise but you're targeting in on a specific group right. so choose your mm-hmm. niche and then narrow your niche so if it's fashion it might be fashion of the 50s yes. or it might be modern fashion mm-hmm. or it might be shoes bags or purses mm-hmm. whatever mine is fashion on a dime yes thrifting yes. that was my yes, first I'm a thrifter. <laughs> nothing i wear ever costs more than ten dollars I love People it. always say, "Why do you tell that?" Because I want you to know it. Because you I'm still short. Oh, like so then didn't you love what Payless did? I did not. I heard <laughs> no, they, they they open up like a designer. They, shoe store yeah, they or had the design designer shoe store called Payless or something, uh-huh. and it was all Payless shoes, and they brought all these bloggers in and influencers in, thinking they were spending yeah. hundreds of dollars. Family. They were they were like. Okay, so those shoes. Oh, so shoes were not expensive. No. Oh, okay. But, I thought that they had raised the prices no, up. Oh, that was good. That, that was, was good, good marketing. Right? That was good marketing. Oh, yeah. And it just showed, like you said, you can look good on a dime. On a dime. You can dress on a dime. Why do you have to go and spend? Well, actually, let me show you something. Speaking of like a little bit time. Yeah, you know what? I actually won this for, um on a contest on DAS like okay. twelve years ago. It's this cute. is the most. This is the only designer real. I guess real designer bag that I have. That's cute. It's a little. It is cute. You can't carry all her important things. You know what's going on? Yeah, well, that's cool. So we're going to talk about monetizing. So that's what's going on now. Okay. So go ahead. So, I, and I like to share uh, with, with my platform. You can find your niche, but then you can tie little things into your niche, but you don't want to go so far off that you change your platform. Right. So I'm talking about fashion. I might talk about what I eat. So I want to keep buying clothes. I might throw in there a couple of meals and things like that. I'm a vegetarian, so I like to buy clothes that are um, not vegan. Vegan. Then we need to go to Cinnamon Facts. Okay. Yeah, we got it. We got. You know what? We need to get together before um, the 22nd. Actually, let's talk. Okay. Cinnamon Facts had all vegan. Do they? Yeah. I found. I, I went to um, Former Meals. Former Meals had ve- all vegan. Really? Section, yes, with oh vegan clothes and jacket. They were cute too. We gotta do a section I'll pop a vegan. picture in here somewhere so you guys can see it if you catch the video. Okay, cool. See this little cute jacket. Okay, so let's talk about monetizing. How to make money blogging. Okay, so let, let's back up for a minute. Okay, let's okay back so up. we first started with what is a blog. Okay, mm-hmm. let's talk about what is a blog before we get into anywhere where you're going to earn money okay. with your blog because a lot of people understand. That blogging is hard work. It's, it's work. dedication, and I want to talk about the three P's of blogging, mm-hmm. and then I want you to chime in on it because it's not, it's not, you know, you don't just jump in and start blogging and yeah. start making money. I mean, you can, mm-hmm. um, but it's it's really hard. You have to build your brand, and you know what I always talk about building your brand. Yes. You have to build that trust. You have to build that brand. You've got to get those mm-hmm. eyes. So I always talk about the what is the three P's of blogging. Okay. You have to have a purpose. What is your purpose? So again, if you're going to do fashion, mm-hmm. what's your purpose? Teaching people how to shop for less, okay? Yeah. And then, so obviously that's your purpose and that's your passion. You have to be very patient. Yeah. It's not going to happen overnight. Mm-hmm. And I always tell people, I remember the first blog post, I was blogging seven days a week, two and three times a day, and I didn't get my first comment for three months. Really? Yes. Oh my goodness. Right? Because you have to be patient. Well, mm-hmm. if you saw my first blog, you don't no, buy. Okay, they were, okay. They were terrible. We had to work, we had to work on the yeah. content. <laughs> we're talking about that too. We're talking about working on content. Also, so your patience okay. and of course perseverance. Okay. Here I am, uh, da, 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 six years later. How long have you been blogging? Three, I think. See? Maybe so it's, three or four. Yeah, it's not you just. It's not just mm-hmm. hit it and quit it and yeah. you just go. So you and, and maybe still, even longer if the, to everyone else's standards. But I think I took it serious maybe about three years ago. Right. I, I, mine was a hobby blog. My first mm-hmm. blog was a uh, DED reveals. Okay. Fashion and fun after fifty, mm-hmm. and it was a hobby. I didn't start making money from blogging until this year. Okay. See, and that was your yeah. that was your perseverance. Yeah. You would have given up. That's like going to a job mm-hmm. for three years, and they say we're not paying you. Mm-hmm. Are you going to stick with that job? 
Yeah, I, I think you yeah. have to love it. You have well, to you love have it. To love it. I think I would just blogging because I enjoyed it, mm-hmm. and then when I realized you could make money off of it, I'm like, oh, I can get coins from it. Yeah, I can get coins. And the cool this. thing is, not only are you building a following and you're sharing your expertise, it's so great when people come back to you and say, "Oh my God, I learned this. Oh my God, that was so good. Yeah. Oh my gosh, whatever." Or when people, I think what, what kept me going was people inboxing me, waiting to see, you know, where's your Friday fashion at? Right. What did you wear for Sunday for church? Right. You know? right. Um, can you give us some recipes for yes. for social for um for uh, vegan meals? Yeah, yeah. Like that kept me going. Right. Oh, people actually are interested. People want to look at this. You so become an expert in your yeah. field. So yeah, so that those three Ps, and then you know about the three Cs. Three Cs. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so the three Cs is your content. Content. Your content has to be good. You can't just throw anything up there or willy nilly. Your um content. Your consistency. Consistency. Talk about yes. consistency. You have to be consistent. So if you are, um, uh, whatever you're doing, you, you, people are going to come back to see it. So you cannot write a blog today or this month and then you don't have another one for another three months. You are not a blogger. You are playing with us. <laughs> so you want to be consistent. You want to have a schedule. You want to be able to give a blog a week or how often do you blog? Three times a week. Three times a week. Now I do do um, photo shoots at least three times a month, mm-hmm. so I have enough content. Yes. And I make videos at least once a week. Okay. So, but I give content every day. Good. Yeah. Good. I probably Good. give. I probably give a little. A little. Not now, so much a blog. Now, you content on your social platforms or yeah. on your blog. I give content on my social platforms very good, very good. every day. Good. And my blogs, I turn whatever content that I see sparked mm-hmm. on my social media, I turn it into a blog. Good. That sh- Lorena just made uh, an excellent point. Uh, mm-hmm. As you're building a brand, you know, obviously we're bloggers. We're not Walmart. We're not Kmart. We're not Nordstrom. We're not Former Mills. So they've already established their brand. Mm-hmm. Nike with the swish, you know, Golden Arches, McDonald's, they built their mm-hmm. brand. So in order for us to build our brand, we have to be very consistent, which means on the grind, mm-hmm. day in, day, day out. out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I think it becomes a hunger. You know, I think on social media, I have maybe about 100,000 followers. I think on my site. Good. Yeah, when you told them up. Yeah, I told them up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm like, oh my goodness, they're waiting to hear from me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You guys signed up for me. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, and not, when nothing's going right, I can have a whole group of friends that I can go talk to. Exactly. You know, exactly. And they're going to respond back to me. And, and you I, just, you know. And, you, and you know what? And you just struck a nerve. One of the great things about blogging mm-hmm. is that now it's not just about you. Yes. It's about your community. Your that's community. The, that's the third C. And we all know, especially our young people, our young people feel like no one understands them. Daryl. You're okay. welcome, Daryl. Thank hi Daryl. Good morning. But when you start blogging, mm-hmm. you will connect with people that are just like you. Just like you. And that opens up your world. So here we are in Delaware. Delaware is the second smallest state of the union. There is not a lot going on here and it's very cliquish. And so I can imagine that someone that's, you know, in her, you know, is a boomer or, you know, whatever the case may be. But how about Generation X? Right. Right. What about the Generation X? Wonder if they have a pence, you know, for for fashion, but everybody says they're not that good. If they started blogging, they might attract somebody in Paris. Yes. That once a lot of <clears throat> you find out who likes you. You find out exactly where you because there is a tribe. You have a tribe, and, and you, you made a lot of sense. Like you know, com- the community. And that was actually a good tip because you find your community. You might have thought that you were always weird or always the outcast or always different. There are a bunch of you somewhere oh, waiting yeah. for your content so they can feel like, oh my goodness, I found my tribe. Exactly. Yeah, I, exactly. I mean, I found my tribe. I found all of my dog lovers mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. like fashion. Right. That are vegetarian. And that is like, yeah. dog <laughs> lovers of fashion that are yeah. vegetarian. Yeah, exactly. like I found all of them. Right. And, you know, and, and yeah, you know, I post a cat and it's like, oh my God, I'm like, yeah, I have two cats. Mm-hmm. And, and it's funny because I had, I'm not going to mention any names, but um, when I was teaching the courses at the, mm-hmm. the various libraries, I remember one lady um, that said to me, why, why would anybody want to listen to me? She wanted to write about autism because oh. she was the mother of an autistic child. She's mm-hmm. the, she is the mother of an autistic child. Mm-hmm. And I'll never forget her saying, and I'm going to shout her out because she's also a blogger. Hey, Brooke. Okay. Um, but 
she was like, why does anybody want to hear from me? Mm-hmm. And you know what? Her blog is so popular yeah. with other parents who have children with autism because now they want to hear about they it. Want, they, they can share. They want you to share. Right. You know, I mean, and there, and there is a thing of oversharing. TMI. But, yeah, oversharing. <laughs> but when you have something that you have information, you know, it's almost like our obligation, our duty to share it and get it out there and tell your story. Everyone has a story, mm-hmm. you know, and your story can, can, can grow. You know, it grows because as you begin to release your story, you'll find out things about other people that you didn't know you can give information to. Definitely. You know, maybe she wanted to know where for autistic kids where they can go and have a good time or where they can meet friends or is there a camp around or you know she's having some issues here and she can give that information yeah. always something to give and then she would just literally and then you mm-hmm. said consistency on other social media platforms so she's using Facebook and Instagram to let people know that this is going on you know this is what happened this was you know uh, 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 di- who was that that was somebody you know what what's going on for the day so again so when you're starting a blog mm-hmm. and you've got those three P's, you've got your three C's, and mm-hmm. finally we have what I like to call our ABCs. Okay, ABC. Always be creating. Mm. Because you want to be different. We're creating right now. We're creating right now. We Exactly. Mm-hmm. When did we have this conversation? Last week. We had a conversation. Last, this one, she calls me out of the blue. Not that we don't see each other, but we're in different circles mm-hmm. in different times. And she calls me, she says, Antoinette. I'm thinking about something. Let's do it. Let's and I'm like, it. two seconds later, I'm like, let's do it. Yeah. And here we are. I'm like coffee with the bloggers. Like, you know, like the, the people say they're doing things, but when you're actually doing it, you want to hear information. Like you can do, we were just, I was just a regular old girl sitting at home writing in my thousand journals and I decided that, you know, taking pictures Look, of she myself. is a author. I am an author. I do Tell us about your book. I do. I have two books. I have a book. Two. Mm, Squeeze well, me. <laughs> I have two books. I have one called Fight for Your Life: Breaking the Curse of Mental Illness and Depression. Mm. And I wrote that. I wrote that book when I was going through a, 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 a bout with depression. Oh wow! Um, and then I have a prayer journal that I wrote. So you know, they kind of both go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. You know, gotta pray your way through. Mm-hmm. So I well, I've got a book, but it's still in my head. Mm-hmm. Right, it's not out. I can't get it out. But I was a contributor oh, in the book. Not, I saw that. Yes, oh my God, book. that was good. I, 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 I like it 1979. Too. Page 1979. Nobody told you what year did I? Um, but you're doing major things. That you're all kind of articles and stuff. <sighs> you know what? God is good. You've been you've been really killing it. Yeah, you've been out here killing it. Yeah. You know what? Because I've been educated by trade. Mm-hmm. I received my BS degree from Dell State. Okay. Back in um, ooh, '83. Okay. So I taught school. Mm-hmm. But even before that, I had pictures, little black and white pictures of myself reading and writing. Yeah, I've always yeah, loved to read and write. I love it. Mm-hmm. So if you have a passion for something, just kill it. Kill it. I, it's funny you said that because I remember this is that this is this is my testimony. I remember going to college. Uh huh. And I didn't learn how to read until late in life. Okay. I didn't learn how to read. I was about 14 years old when I really uh-huh. learned how to read. I was born blind in one eye, so reading was kind of, you know, I couldn't see the board mm-hmm. that well. So my mama said, you just bring your homework home, you don't work on it here. Wow. So I learned how to read really late in life. So I would write, but no one could read it but me. And I remember going to college, and my professor said to me, English professor said to me, I have wrote this um, paper, and I put all this time and effort into this paper. It was good. It was juicy, too. <laughs> and she, she said to me, um, you might want to consider doing something else, right? And this for you. <gasps> oh, everyone, we are so excited to invite you to every Tuesday with Coffee with the Bloggers. I'm Lorena Wooten. And I'm Antoinette Blake. And we will see you at what time? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. On Tuesday. On Tuesday. So join us. Come with your coffee and your questions. And coffee and questions. Coffee good, and right? questions. Very good. Coffee and questions. And we will be answering about... Most of your questions for about what ten minutes? Yeah, we'll answer questions ten minutes. We'll give you some tips, tips, and hints, hints on branding and blogging, and maybe a couple of tricks. Mm. A couple of tricks. Tuesday at ten. We'll see you guys then. <laughs>